Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have a huge jackpot Dollar Tree fall haul. Okay, you guys, Dollar Tree is already killing it this season with their fall decor items that look so high end and they're only a dollar. So this is episode one in my huge I Love Fall series. I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Now grab a cup of coffee, tea, or your favorite beverage, kick back, get comfy, because I'm gonna share with you guys all of the amazing epic items that Dollar Tree is putting out. Let's jump into it. Okay, so for my first item that I have to share with you guys are these beautiful glam pumpkins. Okay, so they have two different sizes and they have this beautiful leaf imprint and this amazing little gold topper. Here are the two sizes they come in, the larger one and the small one, and they have fabulous rustic colors and the rustic look is always in for fall. So here are the other colors that they have. They have this beautiful brown and this beautiful green. You guys, these are so high-end looking. If you all watched my last video, I took you guys shopping with me at Hobby Lobby. My strategy is to always go to the high-end decor stores and then go to Dollar Tree next because I know that the high-end items that I see there, we can dupe, we can find for only a dollar. So my next item that is absolutely over the moon fabulous are these signs. Okay, check this out. Dollar Tree has put out this amazing, it's like a vintage jade color. This one says eat, drink, and give thanks. And then they did have these last year with the black and the cream colored and the orange. The orange says thankful, grateful, blessed. And the white one says pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. So cute. And then together with grateful hearts. Now I did so many DIYs last year and I actually got out all of my fall decor and I didn't have but about one or two of these left. So grab these for DIYs. If you don't care for the glitter, that's totally fine. You can always um, flip them around and paint something different on the back. You could just, the sky is the limit, honestly, with these cute little signs. Now, they do have this little raffia bow at the top. It pops off easily if you don't care for that, or if you just want to straighten it and trim it, it's very easy to kind of fluff it and give it a little um, uplift like that. So check out the cute little pumpkin sign. <laughs> the next amazing fall treasure that they're putting out are these signs. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first off, my middle name is Autumn. I had to grab this super cute Hello Autumn sign and check that out. It fits like perfectly in with my assistant aesthetic here. And then I also found this welcome fall sign. Now check out the cute little gingham at the top and it comes at the top and the bottom. And I did also grab the other two. So they had a harvest blessing signs and this one has more of the faux wood top. And then they had the be grateful again with the little gingham. And it looks to me like the gingham on these two are a little bit different. This is more of a red gingham, and then this is more of a brown kind of check. So the thing that I think is really cool is that they're using these different greens. I love this vintage green, and it's gonna go so perfectly in for the fall decor. It's a great little accent piece, especially if you're into the farmhouse design or the shabby chic design. It is just a beautiful color, and it gives that kind of surprise element that you might not normally see in your uh, fall decor. So I just love expanding my mind and going for something just a little bit different. Okay, so I have a confession. I have such an obsession with their little mini signs. The first one that caught my eye, again, was the Autumn Blessings. It's in that beautiful vintage jadeite green and then the Autumn Blessings in the white. So again, this is fitting in with my aesthetic really, really nice and the pumpkin is large. It's such, this sign is such a great size to pop into your three-tiered tray. So it came in these two and then also these. 
Now the letter, whoops, <laughs> the letter is also, um, the lettering is glittery. This one says, let our hearts be full of Thanksgiving. So if you don't wanna go over the top and decorate for Thanksgiving, you could always just pop a little sign in to your decor just to change it out. So you can go easily from fall to Thanksgiving. And then this says, be grateful and give thanks. This has more of the traditional fall colors if you love that. Again, the lettering is very glittery, but I've heard that you can easily seal it with just a touch of hairspray, or you could even use some polyacrylic or something like that. <laughs> Another thing that I thought was amazing that is definitely gonna add some whimsy to your decor are these super cute little owls. So again, they showed a lot of owls at Hobby Lobby, and they were a little bit bigger than these, but they were definitely much more than a dollar. So they're carrying them in the green and then the pretty red. I love the detail detail on these. And then if you want that more traditional, you know, darker brown, so pretty. And I already just like want to start playing with the decorating ideas with this. So just, you know, think about if you were doing a vignette where you had some brown and white pumpkins mixed in or, oh my goodness, the sky is the limit. So I think also picking up a little character piece like an owl or a scarecrow just livens up your decor and gives it that playful, whimsical look. And if you didn't like the colors you could always add different colors with your paintbrush so so fun and fabulous and the sky is the limit another really fun new item that Dollar Tree has put out are their initial pumpkins okay so they come with the larger size and then also the smaller size this is a really beautiful farmhouse color again check it out it looks like it would just go perfectly right into the decor that i have going on now they come with these beautiful monogrammed initials which you've, if you've ever looked for monogram pieces they're so high end and expensive i'm really not for sure why i guess because they're customized um, and if you didn't like the monogram you could always flip it around and you have this cute little farmhouse pumpkin i did pick pick up the A for my daughter because her first name is Alyssa and then I picked it up in the orange. She does decorate her bedroom for fall so even if she doesn't want these colors you could always paint it and then just maybe use a little bit of wax to go over it and if you don't care for the burlap bow it easily pops off. I also picked up a J for Josh for my husband. I was disappointed because they didn't have an O or an M for myself and my sons, um, but I was a little confused also as to why there was such a limited supply on the different letters. So I think there was J, C, A, um, and S. There was just a random assortment. I couldn't figure out you know, what they were trying to do with that, but I do think they're a nice size. And again, a monogram item is gonna be a lot more high-end and customizable. And if you don't like it, just flip it around no big deal. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's truly a pumpkin palooza at my house right now. I picked up more pumpkins and you guys just have to know, I go crazy decorating for fall and I also DIY a lot of these. So, okay, here is the cute brown one. I don't remember this color from last year, but if you love that rustic look, just think about this and they come in white, they come in the shorter brown, and then what I love is this metal detail at the top. So these are really easy to paint too because they're not a glossy ceramic, so if you wanted to paint them pink or gold or any color, a beautiful little floral on the top, and they have a hole in the bottom of these. Now this is a little trick I'm gonna share with you guys that I figured out last year. Some of these pumpkins, you can very, very easily make a pumpkin topiary. And pumpkin topiaries are really expensive at the stores. I'm gonna share some with you guys for sure. So they come in the brown and the white, the orange, and then also the green. Now I really feel like the green maybe is more of a gourd, or to me, it looks like a pear. <laughs> I don't know. Comment. Let me know what you guys think about this green. It's a little bit limey, but I actually have been incorporating some limes into some of my decor. And even, you know, you could pop these into your late summer decor. If you guys can see what I'm trying to do over here, check out the little sunflower pillow. And then there you guys have, like I could pop these in very easily transitioning from late summer to early fall. So that's another thing about grabbing some
some of the lighter colored pumpkins. You can decorate with your summer decor without it feeling crazy fall. So pick up some neutrals. You can start even now. I, I asked you guys um, on my last video, it was part of our giveaway question, when do you guys start decorating for fall? And some of you all have already started and some of you all don't start until August um, or September, which is totally fine. But think about neutrals for fall. It's just a great way to transition. And also if you have a shabby chic or neutral home or farmhouse home, whatever. I do do traditional colors though by the time it's like full on fall. So the other pumpkins I want you to keep your eye out for, especially if you're going to incorporate the blues that everyone is showing for fall, are these little beauties. These are definitely more to me. They look a little bit more glam because of how shiny and they almost have a little bit of an iridescent feel to them. So these come in several different sizes with the blue being the shorter pumpkin and then this pretty kind of maroonish pink with the taller one. And then they also have more of your traditional fall colors with your oranges. So here's your oranges. And again, these are beautiful. Think about if I had an orange pillow and some orange leaves back there, they would be so pretty. In fact, actually these match my outfit. <laughs> so that would be cute. Um, but this is also the color that I love that I've bought uh, before. This would be nice to pop into your bathroom decor. Um, these are just great to add to tiered trays. Oh my goodness, you guys, tablescapes. The other thing to think about with the Dollar Tree little pumpkins like this is put these on your favorite um, tablescape, you know, with your place setting. And how nice would this look for a guest, you know, to have their own little pumpkin. You could even tie a little tag around the top with your guest's name. <laughs> especially if it's a Thanksgiving table. All those little detailed touches just really up your game on having a high-end look for nothing. And nobody is going to know that these are from the Dollar Tree and not from Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx. So check out those Dollar Tree pumpkins. Think outside the box on how you might use them. Pick up neutrals if you're trying to transition from your summer to fall, and then pick up a couple of those traditional fall decor pieces. The other thing I wanna let you all know is I do even pop these outside. You can seal them with an acrylic sealer or polyacrylic, and they can set outside. I put them by my bike decor. I put them all over. They just give that really festive feel. You can even buy real pumpkins and put a couple fake ones next to it. Okay, so I promise you that is all with the pumpkins, but so fun and fabulous. Definitely check out those pumpkins. Another thing I want you to keep your eye out for is the hello fall sign. Okay, so this is definitely a staple in any Dollar Tree DIYers um, crafting stash. It says hello fall. It's got the cute little wooden pumpkin off here to the side. It comes on a stand. You can easily flip it around to paint it. There's so many different DIYs that you guys can do with these. I'm definitely going to be sharing some with you guys. So pick this one up. It's a great size. It's about a little bit smaller than my head here, I guess. Um, but definitely check these out. These are not new, but they're a great staple to have in your crafter stash. Now I want to share with you guys some goodies that aren't quite fall related, but that are really amazing finds for the Dollar Tree and check out their succulents. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now, Dollar Tree has had the succulents for a while, but I have never seen this much of a variety at my store. So we have the cute little potted succulent, and my daughter wanted one of these similar in a higher end decor store the other day, and it was like five or $10. And I remember seeing these that somebody had shown. So here are the different um, sizes and here are the different colors. Check out this beautiful one. Oh my goodness. And then this one, and you could literally have a little succulent garden on your window seal. And I don't know that anybody would really even know. You could also easily paint the bases of these to make them look just a little bit more high end. But I know that, you know, this is kind of that boho anthropology look. And for only a dollar, you've got a great decor piece. And anybody that you love that loves these or decorates with these may be interested in having these in like a little goodie gift basket or those kind of things. Another thing that I found that I thought was super cute was the Dollar Tree um, Cactus Inspirational Candles. So this one says, live what you love. And I found another one that says, this is my happy place. 
and love grows here. So again, you can have just like a little cactus garden going on, but these are really great stocking stuffers or, you know, gifts, fillers to pop in a basket. You could pop one into a coffee cup and then just a couple little other inspirational things, some candy, and you would have a really neat, unique gift that looks like it came from, you know, a boutique store, but it was only a dollar. Another thing that I found at Dollar Tree were their Wi-Fi password signs. So this one says Wi-Fi, sweet Wi-Fi password is, and then you put in your Wi-Fi password. These are amazing to have just located pretty much anywhere in your home, but especially a guest room or, um, you know, a game room where your kids might be having friends over and they need to know what the Wi-Fi password is. And this one, it says be our guest Wi-Fi password. And then if you didn't want to use this as a Wi-Fi password, maybe think about this for something that's a bridal idea. You could easily paint this and then add um, some antique chalk to it and then put um, the bride and groom's name or just anything you guys might think that you want to put um, down here. So these are a beautiful size. And if you're not even gonna use them for either one of those ideas, think about Valentine's Day decor. But I just thought these were really nice. And again, just an added touch to your home that is unexpected that would be something you would see at a bed and breakfast or a hotel. And it's just a little bit more high end to kind of have things like this. You could easily change out this burlap topper for something a little bit nicer. Um, you could put a cute bow on it. So really think outside the box when you're looking at those Dollar Tree items. Speaking of bridal, if you guys are planning a fall or summertime wedding or really any wedding, look at this beautiful gifts sign. How amazing is that? I just love this. And then check it out. It even comes with a little stand. Now, if you're not wanting to use this for a wedding, you could also use this for a baby shower or um, really any special event where there's gonna be gifts, a birthday, or um, just anything like that. And that way your guests know exactly where to put their gifts. And if you didn't wanna use it for gifts, you could always use it for something else that you wanted to point towards that is gonna sit on a table. So, so fun and fabulous. Dollar Tree has so many beautiful ideas does for bridal. The other thing that I found that would be nice is this little place setting um, ceramic card. It says add your own message and so you could add the bride and groom here or you could just make a place card for your guest. And if you wanted to customize it for fall, you could add like a little pumpkin down here. You could put it on top of a candle stand to give it some height. So, so many fun and fabulous ideas. Just keep your eye out for some of these beautiful high-end boutique items that are on a total budget. <laughs> Another thing that I want you guys to keep your eye out for, and this is probably more Christmas related, are their decorative birds. I feel like decorative birds can really give your decor a high-end look. I did go ahead and pick one up with red and then one in this silver. So these are really beautiful. I've used them on my Christmas trees, like where I've done a floral tree topper, and you just put a pretty little bird in the top. You can add jewels, you could add more feathers, you could really get crazy with it. Um, but adding a character into your decor, again, just gives it that boutique um, look. And it also tells a story, which is something a high-end decorator wants to do, is they wanna give the feeling of a story. So think about these, they come in the crafting section. And again, I picked up a silver and a red. I'm thinking Christmas, Christmas in July, we shall see. <laughs> now, if you're still decorating for summer or you're still decorating with your lemons, which I definitely still have lemons going on in my kitchen, look at this beautiful fresh lemonade sign. So this is so cute. It comes on a little hanger, but you guys could easily use this outside or you could frame it. There's so many different ideas. It does need to be kind of like pressed out, which I don't think you could use um, an iron on it, but you may be able to kind of steam it out. But this is really beautiful and very high end for only a dollar. Now, speaking of some of the trendy boho decor, I found these beautiful wooden signs. These are so nice. This one says wild at heart and look at how thick they are and they're actually real wood. So they had one in wild at heart and then they have one that says it's the little things in life with like the feather. This is so 
boho, anthropology. So definitely grab some of these. Live what you love with that beautiful blue and the pretty boho kind of design on the end. And then here's that super trendy green. This says, enjoy the ride. I love to use just inspirational signs to uplift my day and to pop into like a little window seal or any kind of like little desk or a little shelf, a mantle, anything like that is so fun to use. And I'm also thinking that these can be used to build something with because they're real wood, which is shocking to me um, at Dollar Tree to find something this amazing. So one of the crafting goodies that I love that they're also carrying is this wired jute cord. My store doesn't often carry this, but when they do, I do go ahead and grab it. Okay, so it is seven and a half foot, but to have a jute wired piece is really nice, especially if you're crafting and you do a lot of farmhouse decor, just a really great thing to have in your craft stash. So keep an eye out for that. And then I found a really neat little organization piece, which I had to share with you guys, which is this activity tray. Okay, these are really nice for a million reasons. They're really great. You can just set them on your lap and have like a little activity going on. They're great if you have a little snack. And then to go along with the activity tray, I picked up one of these super cute little smaller three um, pocket organizer here. I'm thinking that I could hold like hot glue and paint brushes and whatnot. A lot of times I'll just want to sit on the couch and just kind of craft and I'll need just a couple of things from my little crafting area without having to drag in, you know, big boxes or totes. These are great also for classrooms. So a lot of Dollar Trees are putting out their back to school supplies. If you guys want to get some good deals on back to school supplies. Now the quality on the Dollar Tree school supplies is a little bit hit or miss but you guys can also look online to see what's rated a little bit higher but these little plastic pieces I think are really nice and very versatile the other thing I did go ahead and grab hopefully to keep myself more organized is this little dry erase board they have so many different colors but of course I always gravitate towards the pinks and the corals and in this one I got one for my daughter that was in like this really pretty dusty pink so keep an eye out for that and then last but not least I did pick up this cute little teacup sign that says taste of coffee tea time. Now, if you guys saw my last Dollar Tree haul, which I'll link it down below for you guys, I found a, a little coffee sign that was like stacked and I was just hoping to find its match and here it is. So this is gonna be perfect for my little coffee bar area. And then one more goodie that I grabbed out of the Crafters Square, they're putting out aprons, which I think are really amazing. Now, I don't think the quality is gonna be super high, but if you guys are like me and you're constantly crafting and you want something just to throw on to keep um, your clothes from getting a ton of paint on them. Check these out and these are also great to have on can for your kiddos or grandkids. So thank you all so much for joining me on this fun and fabulous Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget to subscribe and comment now. I'm giving away a $50 Hobby Lobby gift card. I'm so excited to do this giveaway. All you guys have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below. The secret question on today's video is going to be what colors do you guys decorate with for fall? I would love to hear how everybody is planning their fall decor, whether or not you do traditional oranges and yellows and browns, or do you go for a little bit different with some leopards or blues? Do you do shabby chic with whites? Do you throw in some pinks? Comment and let me know how you guys are decorating for fall. I'm always interested to see what everybody has going on, and it gives me some fun and fabulous ideas. Also, I just want to thank you guys for being here. It is so wonderful to have so many friends here sharing these little crafty decor ideas, and I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. Join me over there. I have a totally free Facebook group. If you want to share photos of your home decor and your DIY projects over there, I love to see what you guys are up to. You guys are so inspiring. Also, join me over on Instagram. I share videos over there as well, as well as just a behind the scenes um, on my Instagram story of what I have going on in my little crazy crafty mama life. <laughs> as crazy as a crafty mama can be. So I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to check out your 
local Dollar Tree if you have a chance. You can also shop online to see what they have going on over there. So I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you again. I can't wait for the next video. Remember, this is episode one in my huge I Love Fall series. Now, if you guys are totally jamming out on summer, I've done hundreds of DIYs for summers and I have binge worthy compilation videos actually for all of the holidays, whether or not you're into summer or fall or you're doing some Christmas in July, which we're definitely going to be doing on this channel. So super amazing DIYs on the way. I can't wait. You guys have a gorgeous, blessed day. I cannot wait again. I'm just too excited. Okay. So remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. Until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.